On July 20, 1980, myself and my friends suffered a violent attack by a gang at Nantes Park. And so my journey starts with Nantes. For the next 35 years, um, it took me to grow, not, not just grow, but, but almost to take on the, the, the fight of injustice. Um, it shaped my life so that my journey became one of a gender activist. That incident that happened to me at Nantes. And so 49 years later, when I transformed myself, my life and everything through sport and, and almost through athletics, that I then started the Nantes Athletic Club. You know, when I went back onto Nantes Park the 6th of January 2014, it was the first time after. Now you must remember when the crime happened and then after that they take you back to the scene with the detectives and that. And that was the last time I set my foot on Nantes Park. So, here I go, many years later, it was a space that I had to drive past for years. Of course, but I would never look even on that side of the road. And so, claiming that space back was more than a victory. I cannot begin to describe to you that feeling. When I came home and said to the children, so when we decided, so what are we going to call this group? I used to call it the Bridgetown Athletic Club and then I said to my children, no, I'm going to call it the Nantes Athletic Club because I want to claim that. That name will never be something negative to me. It will be growth, new beginnings. Um, and so that's how the Nantes Athletic Club came about. So every time you say Nantes now, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing for me. It's a it's a it's a space we that I've reclaimed something that was so um, hurtful. So I don't even want to call it hurtful. Devastating in my life that set the course of my life. And so Nantes is is, is something very very special to me. Per, not special, personal. I'm Caroline Peters and this is my story. I come from a family where my mother and father always served the community. My mom and dad became founders of the Bridgetown Welfare Association. My father, I mean a child in sport is a child out of court, was a term that my, I grew up with. People are so proudly Nantes. So what did Nantes Athletic Club do for this community? when we started the, the criminal activities that was happening at the park. And so our presence, remember, because we as communities, often we, we don't um, have a presence there with this crime. We need to make ourselves visible. I always say that we allow crime to happen in our areas because we say nothing. You know, I have a motto that say, when you see something, say something. And so we started being there every night. What did it do? It drove the merchants away. You could see surely, slowly but surely, there was less activities around because every night at six o'clock we used to put up this bright gazebo to attract the people and then we ran in the area so people can see what we're doing. People used to come run in, in like sloughies, tackies, didn't know what it was and I would just encourage, come, 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 you know. And, and to get that going now, running is synonymous to our area. Everybody, wherever you look, so proudly display their nantas. And you know something I always tell people, us as communities like to belong. I think there's a, there's a thing of a gang, and I always want to say that nantas is a good gang, you know. We, we, we like to belong, we have to. Nantas Athletic Club has almost give, given our community a sense of belonging. As a, even as a gender activist, my dream for Nantes was to have a space for women where we feel safe, where we feel that we are heard, that we are seen. Caroline Peters, who is our chairperson, she is 
a major impact in so many people's lives and she motivates so many people not just in running but all around her you know she's a woman when she walks through the door she has this presence and that is just how she is but you know she's always also a woman that likes to do things for other people that is what her life is about and that is what she's taught me one of our marketing someone that i would like you know fadia fadia yes I, when Father came to the club, Father said to me, no, I don't run, I just want to walk with, I said, sure, yes, yes, come, you know, I'm, I'm always the, yes, of course you can, they always laugh because they always say to me, if we tell Caroline anything, Caroline say, yes, we can, I said, because I believe you can, I know you can, you know, um, so I believe in you, and Father said to me, no, um, me and my job, we don't run, we just walk us, you know. And if I look at them now, man, and I think, yo, Father is now the marketing officer for Nantes Athletic Club. Father, he love, eat and sleep Nantes Athletic Club. She's just bring a big sponsor on board. But through almost mentoring and coaching her, you could just see a bubbly a personality and she's a marketer and she's now used that and how how I coached her and mentored her to become so so Nantes between the two of us Nantes is her life as well I walk in at Nantes club and I start singing I have that I have been blessed with that gift of almost being able to to incite a crowd if that's what you want to call it um, but not in sight in a bad way. Um, but how do we get people to do something common? But I would say, where's Nantes? You guys are quiet. Who are we? Who are, who are, who are we? We are Nantes going to see. The other clubs know it. They see it. They see me. You see me coming, you know. And so I think that also come from an era for me where, where we were. We had to be bold and stand out and stand up. See something? Say something. That's my motto. And I think about me without me. But I was raised in that, you know. You don't make decisions for me. Who gave you the right? You have a penis, I have a vagina. You don't know what I go through. So you don't sit there, a men full of rooms, and make decisions for me as a female, you know. We're different. So that came from my, my life schooling with politicians, with politics, with I've been given an opportunity. I always think that that is missing from 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 societies now and remember we had common goal common purposes in that time um, so even though despite my poverty despite my um, poor household poor background poor but i don't think i'm poor i don't think i'm poor i look at what people think is poor yes i i i still struggle to think that um, our society struggled. There's so many pov so much poverty, so much poverty. I mean, I've travelled all of the Western Cape when the Domestic Violence Act came out to train people around the Domestic Violence Act, from magistrates to the clerks of the court to police officers to community workers. What is the role in the act? So I've had the opportunity to travel to our little Torpy here in the Western Cape, and there's lots of poverty. You know, um, which at times can be very disheartening because you think, what did we fight for? Who we are we? How much progress have we made? A lot in one sense, and then we have a lot of. So I think the same for me. I've grown up in this poor household, but my schooling and formal teaching came from, also from here. It started here, despite that. Um, who, who do we become, you know? I think that my father also made me realize that it's not what you have. It's not the fancy car. It's not the fancy furniture in your home that make you who you are. It, it's, not, it's not material things that make you who you are, but value who you are. And what, what we do for others is... is um, how do we serve? Again, it comes back to service. Caroline Peters, a woman of strength, 
an inspiration, a mother, a friend, a mentor, um, my inspiration, um, a woman I wouldn't ever want to disappoint or um, a woman I can't say that I would never want to lose but a woman of legacy that I so much wa would want to um, follow. I would want to follow because this is my mother, this is my inspiration. No one will understand um, who and what she's been in my life. Um, but um, I must say thank you Auntie Caroline. So it hasn't been easy, my journey with rape, you know. And sometimes I'm still, I'm still sad when I see that you are. We've just crept the surface. There's so many women still suffering. Have we, have we grown? Yes, we have. We've done a lot. But there's still so much women that suffer. It's still so... So I'm, what, 54 this year? And... I'm 54 this year and, and this happened to me as a 15 year old girl. It's grown me, it's shaped me, it has made me who I am and believe, but, you know, and, and a woman's journey. It's not, it's not easy. It's not, I always feel like if I know as this empowered woman what to do with what, how about other women? But it's been a journey for me to empower myself to get to where I'm at. But what about the other women? I'm sad for other women. I'm sad for our young girls that it's still happening to daily. I'm sad for the girl that in Mannenberg where it becomes a game for men to violate. If you speak to the young boys and it says, and he will say he's first, he's for second, it becomes a game where they say, oh, we squat the girl. What does it mean? It means five of us have six with her at the same time. When girls don't feel, and I know that it happens in our townships. It still do. It happened then and it still does. Know. We, we, we you become promiscuous and you think where does it come from? Just the other day someone shared something on Facebook, don't judge her. Even us as women judge each other and we say she's a slut. Do you know what made her to be like that? Do you know how she got there? You know? Um, so sadly, we still live in a society where, where women are judged, but we don't know how she got there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> For me, being closer to 54, I, I, so just I look at my camera, life since I think this morning has been very good. It's almost, I haven't spoken about my life in a very long time like this, but it's almost made me also see how far I've come, you know, that despite my challenges as the person who's been sexually violated, suffered at the hands of a very abusive husband, domestic violence, I have been um, through so many things despite my bipolar, despite my challenges as a woman, a woman in leadership, um, as a gender activist, I have been able to manage my life to an extent where I've achieved so much. So I just wanna say, especially to the women out there, believe in yourself, believe in what you do. Because often we want to take on something and we're so scared, you know? Be bold, be bold. Be unapologetic about who you are and what you want to do.